What's happening guys? Hope you're all safe and well, especially with everything that's going off in this crazy, crazy world. Today, we're going to be looking at the Oxford X. So, a few guys that watched the review a few weeks back, you'll have seen the uh, the Oxford Origin, which was the first product from this brand. And to say I was blown away is a massive, massive understatement. It was phenomenal for a first device from a company. This is sort of the second device that they've released three, four weeks after the origin. And instead of it being all external batteries and you know wattage control and stuff like that, this one's inter in, 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 internal battery. Um, there is still adjustable wattage, but instead of it sort of being full control for the user, it's all done by five LED lights that's on the front, which allow you to change it slightly and all depending on what coil you've got in will determine what wattage it outputs but we'll go more into that at the end of the video because it's a little bit complicated I don't want to bore you with it right at the start uh, but we'll go into that and I will tell you all about it but it's it takes the same coils the same uni coils as what the Origin did but they've also now released the RBA which I've got in here and a one ohm coil so that you know people that want to mount along can also use this device instead of it being sort of primarily direct along as the origin was without having the one ohm coil so we'll head down below guys we'll have a look what's in the box we'll have a close-up look at it what it does and then you know we'll see where we go from there so i'll see you soon so then guys if you go out and buy yourself a oxford x what do you get so you get the box the boxes zoom out a little bit there so you get the box so on the front you've got oxford x you've got your color in the top corner it's 1600 milliamp hour battery maximum of 40 watts and 2 amp compatible fast charge on the side you've got the branding on the back you've got what it is what it contains the warnings the scratch and sniff the barcodes Obviously the social media and doors, everything else on the side, 7 to 40 watts, direct to lung and mouth to lung. Nothing on the bottom and nothing on the top. You also get an Oxford attention card, which tells you all about obviously the unicoil and the airflow ring. You get your warranty card, standard stuff. You also get your user manual, fold out one again, we love a good fold out user manual, you get your spare 0.5 ohm coil, you get your micro USB charging cable and you get the Oxford X device. Now what we'll do, we'll zoom you back in. So front of the device you've got obviously the Oxford branding on the front, you have got your fire button and you've got five little LEDs here. Uh, on this side you've got the X with it being the Oxford X, you've also got your obviously sort of wattage level indicator changer and you've got obviously a locking button there to lock that in place on the back you've got the oxford branding and on the side you've got your micro usb charging port uh, the pod just pulls out and obviously with the uh, find the airflow so you just pull it out the coil just pulls out and the airflow ring just unscrews out of there so obviously you can change your coil that then screws back on and obviously as I say you've got your adjustable airflow there obviously the rings are available separately if you did happen to buy one of these and lose them this is the 0.3 ohm coil 30 to 40 watts rated and it's a mesh coil I don't know if you can see that in there and that just pushes back in you've got your fill port here that just comes out completely you fill her up and then that just slides back in nice and snug obviously you've got to tear it off there you just obviously pull that off and that gives you your connection 
to the device itself and in the top of there you've got your obviously your coil connectors there and that just pushes back in so there's loads to tell you about this one five clicks turns it on and it vibrates it vibrates so obviously because I've got no connection with the coil it flashes green and it vibrates every time I do that on the side so if I press the top button it changes the wattage and every time one of the LEDs goes up it also vibrates and if I want to lock it in place I hold on to the lock button and it will vibrate and flash to let me know that the wattage is locked so it does all sorts of different stuff good vibration I mean you've got to know about it if, if it vibrates in your pocket um, but yeah so in terms of that obviously depending on the coil you use depends on obviously where sort of the wattage is rated um, obviously there's the 0.3 unicoil the 0.5 unicoil and now a 1 ohm unicoil as well as an RBA which I have somewhere here um, guys at Oxfair obviously the, uh, the 1 ohm unicoils and the RBAs weren't quite ready for general release so obviously I didn't get a box from or anything like that they just sent them it as standard um, so the 1 ohm is rated at 10 to 15 watts just a standard standard coil um, and then the the RBA so obviously these are, these are preloaded by the guys over there um, you can see that preloaded nice easy deck you know sort of standard in 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 these sort of pod mod rbas uh, and your top just screws on on there with your cotton obviously sticking out either side same principle you know you, you screw your airflow ring onto the bottom so you can control your airflow and obviously it just pushes some push fit into the into the pod uh, the good thing with these is obviously if you watch the previous review of the Origin, uh, same coils, the RBA fits both the X and the uh, the Origin. But yeah, so a bit more about about the about the uh, different wattage settings and stuff. I'll tell you back up at top because there's like I say there's there's a lot to go through with it. Um, but yeah, so that was the uh, the up close and had a look at what's in the box. We'll head back up guys, I'll tell you the good things, the bad things, the information on the wattage, because I feel that's quite important, and anything else I need to tell you, so see you soon. So then guys, that was the up close and personal look at the Oxfair X, showing you what comes in the box, showing you the RBA. So let's go into this a little bit deeper then, so I'm going to have to get the user manual for this, because this wattage is just all over. So... If you are using a coil in this Oxford X that is 1 to 2 ohms, it runs from 7 to 15 watts in 2 watt increments per light, obviously, that you set it to. If you're using a coil that's 0.5 ohms to 0.9 ohms, it runs from 12 to 25 watts in 3 watt increments, depending on obviously which light you've got it set at. And if you're using the 0.3 ohm coil up to a 0.4 ohm coil, it runs from 20 to 40 watts in 5 watt increments. So, <clears throat> obviously, it all depends on your coil to what wattage it runs at, um, <clears throat> which is quite clever for me because if it's it's not sort of a set wattage like on some devices where no matter what coil you put in, it'll do five set wattages this one will do five set wattages for three different sorts of coils <clears throat> so it's very clever um, obviously it vibrates which is just like a little added bonus to it some people are like that some won't but for me if I've got it in my pocket and I change wattage or I've got it in my hand and I'm doing something and I change wattage I'm going to know that I've done that because it's going to vibrate so that to me is an added bonus um, Yet again, great flavour, you know, amazing flavour, same as the Origin, the coils are fantastic, the RBA, you know, easy to build on, which is a bonus, 
you know it's, they've not made it too fiddly it's nice and easy to build on there's plenty of space on there you know and the flavor from the RBA is great as well uh, battery life you know 600 milliamp um, you know so battery life on any of the coils is relatively good if you're using the 0.3 at you know full 40 watts don't expect the world from it because you're not going to get it but you know it's it's a great device got a few little cons with it um, the the actual bung as I've shown you down below the, the little black black bung that's in there that to me is a concern because it doesn't actually connect to the device and it actually pulls out one you can lose it two you know over time it's going to wear and there's a chance that you're going to get leaking which you know obviously if it continues to leak and leak and leak or you leave it sat you're going to probably ruin the device um so i would like to have seen something a little bit different on that side of things um 510 connector for the RBA at the time I was sent it wasn't available um, so obviously for me pulsing the coils you know weren't really an option unless I put it into something else um, but they have now released the 510 connector so you know I just haven't received one yet so it's a little con for me right now because obviously for anybody that hasn't got a 510 connector for their RBA you know pulsing your coils just isn't an option um, other than that, I would have liked to have seen USB-C rather than micro. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, that doesn't take away anything from the device. The device is just as good as what the Origin was. You know, it's just sort of a simpler device to what the Origin was. The Origin was simple. You know, this one's even easier. You've got a little button on the side to lock and change your wattage. And you've got a fire button. That is it. Um so for me, you know, another great device from Oxford. Majorly impressed with what they're producing so far. Two mods, two great mods, which is just fantastic to see a company come out of the gate sort of that strong. Uh, and I really, really hope that they continue to do sort of what they've done with the Oxford X and the Origin. Um, so yeah, so I really do look forward to you know what this sort of the rest of this year and however long after that that they keep going to what they produce so thanks for joining me guys i hope you've enjoyed the review if you have hit the like button hit the subscribe button it's massively appreciated to each and every one of you guys that subscribes if you didn't like it so to my hands that's all down to you guys at home um but yeah if you want to see what i'm up to outside of the reviews then head over to the social media links at the end of the video or down below and you can check that out but most importantly, stay safe, guys, and I will catch you all on the next review. Take it easy. Boost it.